Campbell CAR stands for the Campbell University Child Care and Activity Resource. It's a resource for anyone caring for children and offers ideas to keep kids, parents, and teachers active and healthy. Hi everyone, I'm Dolly Adcock and I am with the Harnett County Partnership for Children. I am the Healthy Activity Specialist there and my program is called Healthy Habits for Harnett. And I get the privilege of going out into child care centers and public libraries and doing children's movement classes. Primarily, I work with preschool age children, ages three to five, and we just have lots of fun and also try to get the kids up and moving and get as much physical activity as we can. So speaking of pets, I brought some pictures today of some animals that some people might have as pets at their home. Um, some of these are pretty common pets and some of these might be some that might be a little out of the ordinary, but you never know what kind of pet someone's gonna have at their home. So, the first one I'd like to show you, I actually have one of these at my house, and it's a dog, like that. So, I would like for us to look at the picture. We've got our dog. We're gonna make our body look just like the dog in the picture. So, we're gonna go upside down in our down dog position, and then we're gonna wag our tail, just like a puppy dog. So, go ahead and put your hands down. Push your bottom up to the sky. And then I want you to lift one of your feet up and let's make some puppy dog sounds. Ruff, 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 And you can wag your tail. Lucky for us, we have two tails back there, so we get to wag the other side. So push your bottom up. Other tail goes up. Wag that tail and let's hear some puppies. Ruff, 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 ruff. Very good. All right, so that would be our puppy dog pose. The next one that we have is this, our kitty cat. Kitty cats are amazing stretchers. They can stretch their bodies like crazy. So we're gonna stretch our back like a kitty cat does. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our hands down in our knees. And I want you to take your chin. Your chin is right here. You're gonna touch your chin to your chest. And when you do, you're gonna push your back up to the sky. And of course, a kitty cat says, meow, push up, meow. One big push, chin to our chest, meow. Very good, that one was for you. All right, let's see some other pets. Another one that we might find is a bird. Some people have birds as pets. So we're gonna stand up for this one and we're gonna stretch out our bodies really, really wide. And we're just gonna open up and we're gonna imagine that our hands and our arms are our wings. And we're just gonna flap our wings. And birds make all kinds of sounds. Someone was making an owl sound the other day, which was cool, and so, of course a Tweety Bird. And so after we do it on this side, we're gonna turn and jump to the other side. Look down at your feet, make sure it's all ready. And we're just gonna move our arms, or I guess I should say our wings, like a bird. Another pet we might find in someone's home is a fish. And of course, our fish live down in the water. So for this one, we're gonna lay down on our tummy. And I want you to find your hands, just pull them behind you and hold on to each other like this. And as we hold on, we're gonna kind of move our body and we're just gonna rock from side to side, like we're floating down into the fishbowl. Glub, 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 glub. That's my fish sound. I gotta make a fish face. Very good. Remember this goldfish right here because we're gonna come back to him later on in class. Now, you might find one of these as someone's pet, not at my house, but maybe at someone else's, a spider. So we're gonna come down into our spider squat. I want you to open up your knees really wide. I like to put my hands down here to help me balance. And then our spider, of course, we can just rock from side to side like the itsy bitsy spider. Good. Another pet might be a pet snake. So we're gonna lay down on our tummy, put our elbows down flat on the floor, and we're gonna look up to the ceiling as we make a hissing sound like a snake. Big hiss. Good, good snake pose. 
someone might have a pet turtle at their house. Turtles are really cool because they get to carry their house on their back. So we're going to put our feet together just like this and we're going to come down inside our turtle shell. So you're going to have your palms facing up and then you're going to take them down under your ankles and you're just going to slide them by your feet. And if you want to get down inside of your turtle shell, you just lower your head down like you're a turtle hiding in its shell. And then we can come back up, maybe look around the room. I like to say stick out your turtle tongue and then come back down into your shell. Some people might have a hamster. I had one of these growing up and they really like to get in their hamster wheel and just run and run and run and run. So a really cool way for us to do this is to come back on our backs almost like we're riding a bicycle and just move your legs, pedal, 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 like you're on that hamster wheel, moving, moving, moving. And you can go faster or slower. And roll back up. Some people have one of these as a pet. Of course it has to live outside, but we can get up and we can make our horse very strong and we can use our feet to kick back because horses can kick sometimes. They're very strong, they have strong legs. Or you can take both of your feet and kind of jump up and do a big horsey kick. Just be very careful when you're doing that one. Another pet might be a hermit crab. They also have their home on their back. And hermit crabs love to crawl around. So we're gonna do our crab crawl. So start off with your bottom on the floor, your feet down. You're going to put your hands behind you and push your bottom up off the floor. And you can make your hermit crab go right around in the circle. You can also move forwards, backwards, however you want to do it. Another pet might be a frog. So we're going to come down into our froggy jump. Our hands are going to come down on the floor. We're going to jump up and then as we come down, we're going to hit the floor and of course a froggy says ribbit. So we're going to jump, ribbit, jump, ribbit, jump, ribbit. Very good. Nice squat jumps. My cousin had one of these growing up and every time I would go to her house, it would be like rolling around on the floor in a paper towel roll, which was kind of odd, but they love to roll around. It's called a ferret, and they just roll and roll and roll and roll. So I thought we could do a ferret roll. So we're just gonna lay back, put your hands up above your head, kind of where your ears are, and use your bottom and your feet and hips to roll your body over like that. Push to roll. And you can roll all around the room. Another pet might be a bunny rabbit. So we're going to come down and we're going to imagine that these are our bunny rabbit's ears. So come down to your knees and I want you to find your hands again and put them behind your back and hold them just like we did with the goldfish. And then we're going to come down and put our head down on the floor and our hands are going to come up. So it looks like we've got some really tall bunny ears. Come back up. Wiggle your bunny nose, and then come back down. Bunny ears come up, nice big stretch, and up. Good. Another pet you might find someone having is a pet mouse. So we can get really, really tiny and small like a mouse. So we're gonna come down into our mouse pose where we're on our knees and our forehead right here is gonna come down and touch the floor. And you can keep your hands back here behind you where your hands are by your feet. Or if you want to, you can put them out in front of you, whichever one feels good for you. And come down into our squeaky mouse pose. Another pet I thought of might be a lizard who loves to get sun and be nice and warm. They like to go sunning on a big rock. So we're gonna come down, make our hands and arms nice and straight with our feet flat behind us. And I just want you to look up to the sun Nice big stretch and come down, good. And the last pet, there's so many pets I couldn't get them all, but these are just some that I could think of off the top of my head. 
might be a guinea pig. And I like to think that the guinea pig just kind of likes to sit around and watch people during the day. So we're going to sit like a guinea pig. So we're going to come up and we're going to imagine that we have a chair or a seat behind us. And what we're going to do is we're just going to sit our bottom down into the chair. But when we do, we're going to put our hands up by our ears. So take your knees and bend, push your bottom out like you're sitting in your chair. And then turn to the other side because we have a chair back here too. We have two chairs. And we're going to put our hands up, bend your knees, come down and sit in your chair like a guinea pig. Okay, very good. So those are our pet poses. And of course, if you can think of other pets that I left out or maybe forgot, you can do whatever you want for those. The half the fun is just making it up and having a good time as you go.